Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Star Sector. So we are on our way back to our core sectors in the middle of this star system over here. But on the way over, I thought I would go in and like another gate and we came across a random scavenger. So I thought we'd kill this at the start of the video. What what is that ship? Is that an is that an apogee? Oh I missed it. Oh no. Everybody, I've made a mistake. <laughs> I've made a mistake. Sir, can you please come back? I wanted to kill you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what is this called? Fury. I was close enough. I said a word in English, so that's good enough for me. Anyway, so the RSS Mordon, which is an interesting name, I've got to say, uh, has quite a few allied fleets here. But let's be honest, everybody, these pirates are not really going to be high enough here to take our glorious navy down at this point. So we're going to go in. Uh, do I try to just deploy the carrier force? Yes. <laughs> I don't need the other guys. It's fine. Let's do this. Oh, we forgot to check. We should really check out if these any of these pilots have leveled up because they've already been in a battle. <gasps> Level two. They have leveled up at some point. Awesome. Okay, I want to go for the... That's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh, I think I am thinking of the Apogee class, uh, which is a battleship. But it's definitely not this. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let's get out of the way, though. I've got a big ship that can help me out. Kill him, Gus. Kill him. Oh, no. <laughs> He's having an awful day. He should have stayed in bed. Well, actually, in space, it probably won't even help if you stay in bed because you'll still be in a moving starship. So it's completely worthless, everybody. Okay. Okay, I think the only thing they got left that can really do anything is this. Oh, I should really back up. I've got, like, no flux whatsoever. Let's get out of it. Back up, back up, back up. I can't even use my F ability because i got no flux. Very nice. Good job, everybody. Oh, look at look at the Gatling gun mech. How cool is that? Oh, that's amazing. There's nothing like being in a game fighting in space and you have a giant mech with a Gatling gun. It's, 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 you would never think it would be possible, would you? Well, that went very well. Um, we shouldn't really be surprised, though, because we have a pretty good fleet at this point. Uh, done. Nice. Now, there are some guys running away, but we just tell our AI to hopefully kill him for us. Just, just get him, guys. Just get him. Actually, why am I deploying carriers if we're going to be... That doesn't make any sense. What? How are these one ships escaping? It's fine. Don't worry about it. He, he, we left him alive so he can tell the story of Fretex's navy. That's the entire reason right there. Done! Enemy has been wiped out. Ooh! Reputation change has happened. The musket has now known for deadly pilots and flux dissipation. Both of those are pretty awesome. I wonder how much it's actually going to get from that uh, musket. It gets 5% more damage. You know what? We'll take it. It's better than nothing. Okay, so just over here is the start system, which has a gate which you activated yet. So we're going to jump inside, we're going to activate the gate, and we're going to go back home. Um, oh, this system is apparently... Oh, low danger. I'm not worried about low danger. We need to actually do some exploring at some point because there should be a um we need to get like some nano cores and stuff for our, our base we're making so we need to go out and explore at some point but not right now uh let's go towards the gate which is over this way i probably should do a scan in case of stuff we can grab here though um it's just one thing <laughs> this system um, sucks everybody i think i've been here before though because otherwise, how would I know there was a gate here? I must have been in the system, ignore the gate, and left. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's just random um, units. Oh, what's this? Hayes trait suggestion. Reliable. and oh, no, that's useless. Oh, yeah, that is useless. I don't think I've seen... I, I'm very quality focused. So I don't actually get in a position where my ships would be uh, malfunctioning anyway. I just don't let it happen. <laughs> I refuse. Okay, let's teleport back home. We have plenty of fuel. Beautiful. It should be like a wob wob noise or something. Or maybe like something from uh, the Stargate noise and like a big ocean appears out of nowhere. Anyway, apart from me talking about oceans, let's go back to our carny. I think we should have enough money now to actually... Ah, uh, we've got to save up because I think... Let's go to D. Let's go and check the the Necky Nest. I really wish I can change the name of this because Necky Nest isn't really providing fear in my enemy's eyes, in my opinion. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. So, oh, it's leveled up. Yes. 
Economy size four. So now it actually makes way more money. It's actually making additional 10 grand on top of what it was making before. So I think it means all the stuff's increased. So like now it, it needs more imports. It, it does more exports. Like the, this thing, would you produce more now? It's pretty cool. Uh, and also we can build another industry. So I did mention that I wanted to build the old heavy industry. But alas, everybody, alas, we haven't got enough money right now. So <laughs> we need to get an extra 200 grand and then we can actually put that in to the base and then i think after that we can get more industry but it takes a long time oh no i'm wrong sorry level five you get one level six you get one so we can then add on a patrol hq which takes industry slot no it doesn't oh sorry this doesn't require industry slots but if you upgrade it it does that was a different set so we get a patrol hq after that and i think finally we'll probably go for a refinery so we have like the entire shebang or maybe one of these demands Organics. I think that's organics. We go for refining as our fourth one, and well, maybe the patrol HQ. We we'll do all it in the future, everybody. That'll be a future problem. Anyway, moving on. What is this? Exploiting the relative ease in which materials can be handled in zero G environments, this collection of industries breaks apart asteroids. <gasps> I probably should have been using this instead of the other one because that produces everything. It produces. How, how is it producing food? Let's not question it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. It's like, oh, yeah, we we'll just eat the rocks, sir. They're very nutritional. <laughs> it's like, ah, perfect. Okay, so we'll sell the stator. Oh, I don't want to sell that alpha core. Let's keep that over there. It's really weird because normally if you're going with base game factions, most of them do not allow you to use AI technology. So they get really annoyed if you, you can't just, you just literally can't sell them in open markets, um, which is fine. Loads of money, everybody. Loads and loads of money. Perfect. Is there any cool... I really want to get a Maelstrom, but I also want to upgrade my colony first. The reason being that it will give us money, so it will pay it back faster than doing it the other way around. Okay, so that's sorted out. I'm going to head over to... Uh, oh, Yeah, let's get some supplies first, mostly because my colony doesn't actually produce anything, so it doesn't actually have any supplies. Let's get a few hundred of that, and let's get loads of that. Also, I kind of want to go on a, a rampage. I'm going to try and take on a big station and take over some territory. You know, this series is called Galactic Conquest. So we are going to also invest in some more Marines. Uh, so that's an additional legion added on to our beautiful Space Marine Court right there. Let's go and stop off in our colony, I think. Uh, this way. This is the way. And then we're going to go do some invading, everybody. It's going to be pretty fun. Also, hopefully it means I can make more money as well. But right to see. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Sorry, everybody. I've completely forgot. So if we go into... Command? No. Wing con management. Manage. Okay. It doesn't seem like they leveled up. I think she already was level two at the start. So you can see what their skills they have. Ballista mastery, combat endurance, damage control. Um, I guess I just get more and more. Like this person has two skills, which is quite interesting. And she's got a level... Uh, elite skill some of them as well i wonder if there's a way you can change what skills they get it's like if they start with a bad skill and it's immediately um oh where am i going <laughs> this isn't the right way what am i doing i'm an idiot i need to go to the necky the necky nest the most powerful nest known to man oh i can't believe i didn't even look at that zero g building <laughs> to be fair i never actually built anything on this colony it was it was inherited it wasn't my fault it's my predecessors it's totally fine okay we've got 31k uh, sorry 316k what is this oh i don't like the look at that stop giving me bad suggestions who's making these suggestions you're fired so they want to have system regenerate instead of damage taken by shields no in fact, wasn't it that earlier? I think it's trying to put it back here. <laughs> There's a power struggle, apparently. Whoa! Conquest mission. Current base reward, 658 grand. Damn! I'm not doing that, though. Okay, so we made it back home. I'm going to install this alpha relay. Uh, what does it do? It increases... Wait, what does it compare to the other one? Oh, it told me up there. Sorry, I'm an idiot. So the additional effect was it increased the production. That was the additional thing there. Do you reckon... Because this is only producing five lots of ore. We should probably delete that and get this. 
Because it produced two ore, two rare ore, free food, free volatile, and free organics. But I guess the downside is it actually requires a lot of... Dem uh, it requires ships and stuff as a... Dem We're doing it. Screw it. Look, sometimes you just have to take the plunge. And this is one of those times, everybody. So I'm going to just uninstall this. Money went down by a few K. Delete. I get a refund? Yeah, I don't want to see that. Get out of my sight. We're going to make a void distraction. And I still can't afford the other one. So I probably should have actually kept the other one until later on to save money. Uh, to make more money. But we haven't done that. So it's fine. Oh, I can't even... We have to... What we have to do then... We have to leave these here. And I'm pretty sure if they're in the storage, I can then remotely assign them to buildings. So we'll get that sorted out. Oh, what we can do in the meantime, though, before I just leave and fly off again. If we go back here. I'm pretty sure we can just install these alpha ones temporarily. Do these actually produce anything? It produces manpower. Which is useless. <laughs> you don't make any money from manpower. People are not worth anything in Star Sector. They're completely worthless. Uh, oh, this finished. It's upgraded to a mega port. So we've got more mark access. That's pretty cool. Uh, what about this one? No. It doesn't help how much mark access we have if we're not actually selling anything or making anything. So what does this do? Increase. Con we'll leave that on there for now. There you go. It's better than nothing. Okay. Apart from me rambling, let's go, everybody. So where should we attack? That is the that's the million dollar question. Where should we attack? If we go to the other map, sector. So we're currently at war with the hegemony. Uh, hegemony. I can never say that correctly. It's such a weird word. Um, hegemony, and we're at war with the pirates, the dazzles. We should over. I reckon we should go for them. Ludic Path is the other one as well. There's actually a Ludic Path level 6 world called Gun. <gasps> yes. And it's in Ishtar. <laughs> yes, I'm going over there. It's been decided. They can't stop me now. Okay, so I'm trying to leave the system, but we're taking a very long time to do it. Oh, I thought that that was the teleport point. It's not. It's the nav boy. I'll be scared if we declare war on that faction. Uh, the Sindaria, because it means I would be surrounded by three hostile locations, which would kind of suck. Okay, we're going to go into Ashtar. This could go very well, or really badly. There's only one way to find out, and that is by doing it. Interesting. Uh, let's go is this way. The Galactic Academy Station. I don't know if they're going to be defending themselves, because it is a military base. This is not a regular base. This actually has some kind of defences here, so... I'm not seeing anything on the sensor at the moment. It looks like it's... There's something there. <gasps> the Reuters! <laughs> they're roiding out on that station. How handy is that? That's a big station as well. Wow, it's class as a star, for star fortress! We have to try and kill it. With me, with this additional fleet, it should be fine, right? What can possibly go wrong? This is going to be a massive... We will destroy the Star Fortress. That is a big ship, though. That is a big ship. Oh, look at that. There's already so much happening. I'm actually a bit worried because it rated my fleet against their fleet as a five-star difficulty. So this fleet is apparently not monstrous. So I'm going to be, going to be cautious. We're going to deploy in with me. I'm going to deploy with my pocket gust, because if it blows up, I'll be happy. And it's just, it's calling the other calm destroyer. No, no, wait, no. Let's use the, no. Let's just do this. <laughs> I just want to see what it's like, because it, it's a five-star rating danger. Oh, is that a mo <laughs> No. What on earth? Are they mines? Why are there mines? They're everywhere. Worse. Oh my. I'll help you. I'll help you. I got your back, brother. Wait. Where are they coming from? Are they. T what? There's one behind me? Are they teleporting in? What is happening? 
This is a big problem. Um, what is going on? Okay. Oh, what the? What is happening? I will see this. Okay. I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I've had it. I'm, I'm going to leave the pocket gust behind. It's going to it's gonna learn for us. I'm going to use I'm going to take over control. My main ship needs to escape though. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's just blowing up. So it seems there must be... I don't know if it's a mod weapon or something. I don't normally fight level 5 battle stations. Um, or le max level battle stations. Get out of there. Take control. It's terrifying. Yeah, because I know the highest level battle stations also come with like massive drones. Which are like the size of frigates. Um, the Merlon, I think that's what it is. Oh no, Gust. <gasps> is it about to die? Okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. Oh my god, oh wow, these, these mines are ridiculous. They're so overpowered! If I can get this out, okay, I just want to look at the station. It's huge. <laughs> oh my god. So I don't know if this is a base game thing with the mines. Maybe it's because it's a battle station, I don't know. But it does seem like you just don't want to fight it. Maybe you need like a battleship only to actually fight this because that is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to get this guy out of it. Oh, a second to make it. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is designed. I think it's a base game thing. I feel like it's designed that you need to have massive ships to take this thing down. Small ships just get blown up by these these guys. Take this. I have some support ourselves. Okay, it's calm. We're calm. We're gonna leave now. Point defense does kill it before it blows up, but Ooh, I think as well because there were so many ships, it wasn't as bad. But look how many there are now. There's so many of them! Oh my! Oh, they do trigger when something's nearby, though. <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. And it, that entire fleet was wiped out by these mines. The battle station didn't even do anything. Okay, I'm leaving. <gasps> Dude, get out! Survive! Oh no. You left behind the ones I <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hold them off. Yes, I want to retreat. Wow. So I'm not going to be going for one of those military bases because that was insane. Also, I'm pretty sure this is actually the um, the capital of this faction. Enormous Star Fortress, the pinnacle of contemporary. <laughs> Close enough. Zero G construction in the Persian sector. Built to lower module. Uh, model feature Merlon class defense drones and extensive minefield. This platform hosts shipyards, habitats, factories, and a large stockpile of weapons and supplies, which allows projection of military and industrial power throughout the local orbital volume. Okay, so it did come, it came with a stealth minefield. That is insane. Ridiculous. We will be back for that later. This, this could be one of our main targets later on. We'll come back to that one day. Um, but right now, that was just too powerful for us to deal with. That stealth minefield was awful. Um, battle occurred. <laughs> Damaged the Placon a lot. Let's go somewhere else. Screw this place. I'm going to go and make my own minefield. Screw you guys. So, that was that. Let's not talk about that. That never happened. Uh, there's a pff, triple military bot over there. No, thank you. Look at church, look at church. A level 5 military base and a level 4 station. Let's go for this. Oh, I'm actually, that actually terrified me. I, I did, those mines are ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure that is a base game thing then. That is an actual base game item. So I'm pretty sure you just need like a massive dreadnought or like a battleship with, with point defense that can just kill anything before it kills them. Or maybe like loads of defense, like a massive carrier and its units defend it. When it moves up. I'm not sure. What is this? Why would I do no. disregard? Stupid. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. 
Okay, I've got to be careful because this faction is kind of terrifying. Okay, uh, where is this? It's over there, fair enough. Now, I have been thinking, um, so it's actually, I've been thinking quite a bit. I feel like before we take on any stations, I'm probably going to need to get myself a bigger ship. This ship is too squidgy for our current means. I need to get myself, not this ship either, it's also too squidgy for our current means. No, 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 it's got like no point defense. I'm going to try and get enough money to get myself either a dreadnought or a battle carrier. Uh, which I will use myself instead of these uh, smaller ships. Now, what was that noise? Oh no. Ooh. Okay, he's left. If they attack you while you're over a station, you will unfortunately be dragged into a battle with the station. So you've got to be very careful there. Now, I do actually know, because I, I did actually try it, everyone. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I tried cutting this. Um, it's too powerful. <laughs> the, um, the barrage from these two sections here can instant pop a haze, which is my bigger ship. So, as you can probably imagine by that, it means it's a bit too powerful for us right now. But it's okay. Also, notice there's a cool AI. It's run by the fearless level 7 Skynet AI. But I've discovered, well, I've discovered, I've re remembered because I forgot it was even a thing because I've played this game like over the years. When they add new features, I sometimes just forget about them. <laughs> and one of those features was raiding, everybody. Raiding. Now, if I launch a raid against the uh, station, I don't need to destroy the star base. No, no, no. As long as I can touch him with my little grubby fingers, I can reach in with my little fingers and grab stuff and walk away with it. And what I'm going to do with my little grubby fingers is um, they're going to take the AI. <laughs> so I need money, right? What better way to generate money to build a massive ship to block the station than by stealing the station's AI itself and then probably selling it on the black market. So we're going to be moving. Wait, let me just figure this out quickly. So I did look at this quickly. It's pretty cool. It seems that we have like a raid, like a raidy kind of like point system. I'm not sure how it's generated yet, but it says here one marine unit is available for every 10% raid effectiveness. Now, as I have not done a raid in a while, we have nearly, pretty much maximum raid effectiveness. So I'm going to raid the Alpha Core. And we're also going to raid the Spaceport. So that is going to be worth 180k right away. Uh, can we raid this as well? In theory, we can, but the danger is high. Is there something else we can do? Maybe raid extreme danger. I like how it's also got values as well, which are pretty cool, by the way. Also, apparently worth a lot of money. Is that because it's easy to get? Interesting. Well, we're going to go for the one that gives us me the most money. So we actually, no, we'll leave this and we'll do a raid again later. Uh, select the raid. Your Marine Commander submits a plan for your approval. Sir, Ugg, attack, death. Good. Okay, that's the plan. We're going to go in. Launch the 871 Super Space Marine attachment. Go. We lost 11 Marines. Pick through the spoils. Ah. And this is the best thing, everybody. As I just mentioned through our little thing there, if I go back to this station, you'll see it no longer has an AI. <laughs> I've stolen Skynet, everybody. Skynet is mine. They can't get it back. It's over for them. Uh, cool. So that worked pretty well. Now, I don't know. Is there a cooldown, maybe? Is that a... Hey, give me... No, it's not. It's a... Volkov. Vol... I like I like saying Volkov. Um, just because it's a cool-sounding word. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm a simple man with simple tastes. You can give me an elastic band and I'll be happy for hours. Or I can just be saying random names and I'll be happy as well. Okay, so... The enemy has got a few little uh, fleets there. I'm just going to mess with them because I can. Let's go and take over this relay here. And also, I should have looked at this before. I didn't realize it was a thing until the other day. Um, I could also assign my AI to become <laughs> the governor of my colony, which I'm going to do because it gives me plus one in all commodities they produce. Pretty handy. And also, it gives me the hypercognition, a limitless machine given every dat datum every human thought to combine and recombine into variant uh, variants beyond count ask an appropriate answer is produced yet i find myself not satisfied that being fooled proves such a grandiose proposition so yes apart from me reading random text there plus 10 percent accessibility plus 20 percent fleet size plus 50 percent ground defenses and plus one stability yes and also this person is worth 20k in salary she's fired <laughs> Get out of my sight. I'm saving myself money here. Get out of my sight. Okay, cool. Uh, so we are looking pretty good there. 
We are still building Void Extraction. We also need to get ourselves... Did I have an additional, additional core? I don't think I do. Not sure. Anyway, so I'm actually, I'm actually going to sell the one we just nixed, by the way, the AI core. Because I feel like I can just fly around the universe and steal everybody's AI cores of reading. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Take control of the relay, and they got to come and get it back. Come at me, bro. That's what I... I took out the com relay, and I was like, come at me. <laughs> come on, then. Is it just two pickets? Are they going to send backup? Yes, they are. Someone's coming. I saw it on the faraway radar. There's someone coming. They're about to arrive. So it's going to be three versus one. Are they going to attack me now? Yes, they are. No fear, everybody. No fear. I am a fearless monster. Uh, wow, we lost a lot of... Have we? Did they? These guys go down in rank. I'm pretty sure they did. To be fair, I did get loads of new ones. So maybe that's why. Okay, so we are being attacked by a triple alliance of fast pickets. Um, now, I think the biggest ship they have are destroyer levels. So it should be okay. Uh, we are going to, of course, deploy of our entire fleet, though. Uh, look at this. Ne <laughs> Harmless and weak engines. I approve, everybody. I approve. Deploy the Navy! In the navy, I've got to stop doing that. Okay, um, <laughs> damn it, B. We will deploy all. Uh, ah, oh, they got a nav boy. I, I wish I had a nav boy. Let's go. Okay, so if we can generate enough resources, uh, from these raids and these battles, I'm gonna go and just immediately go and buy myself a giant ship, everybody. It's gonna be glorious, truly magnificent. Uh, I am recording, right? I am good. <laughs> I have to check sometimes because I don't really know. I've done it many times. Okay, so if we normally, if I had a bigger fleet, this would be great because I can call in reinforcements. But as we currently can only call in a uh, freighter, capturing these command points is not going to be at all too amazing. Though we do get more uh, command point recovery, which means I can give more commands. It's pretty obvious. It's saying it out loud. <laughs> okay, so the enemy has got a few units here and there. Um, let's actually, as we can, let's actually assign some commands. Actually, no, we don't need to. The AI is just very smart most of the time, apart from a few situations. Uh, we'll just leave it to do its own thing. I'm going to move up, and we're going to take on... Oh, that's a lot of ships there. So we know for a fact these ships are actually pretty powerful. They are pretty good at what they do. Um, and actually, what we should probably do... Let's assign this as a defense mission. Um, and everyone can come over here. I'm going to assign missions to take out these destroyers. Um, because otherwise, I feel like they are pretty powerful. We've seen the power in f by first hand, but their downside, I think, is their uh, point defenses. And we have a lot of carriers, so it should be fine. Can we nip on this guy? Nibble him! Oh, he's got away. <laughs> oh. I don't like the look at that. No, no, no. Uh, at this point as well, because I decided that we're going to reform our fleet anyway. Uh, I'm going to... If the frigates die, they die. That's fine. Um, I think the frigates are too squishy for this faction anyway. Uh, my ship, when I replace it, it will probably die as well. I think the AI would be really bad at using it. I'm happy with this one, though. The uh, Is it Khan? Calm. The Calm Destroyer seems like a good, well-rounded one, which is quite tanky. Um... I also feel like we want to probably get rid of the pocket... I've been saying that for ages. Get rid of Pocket Gust. And probably want to get ourselves more of these guys. Because they're, they're large weapons. I mean, they're pretty good at, like, support. And also they got a unit fighter as well. These we're probably going to get rid of as well. But that would be really, really far away. Um, that would be when we got, like, other ships that are pretty decent on mass. Because it, it's a carrier. It, it can't really survive in combat itself. It needs to be replaced by something a bit more aggressive. That's why I like the Gust, because it's got a big gun, it can fight, and it also has a fighter slot as well. Okay, so it looks like the battle's kind of slow up a little bit. We're going to switch this over to a regular control mission, so that free up a lot of our defenders. And I'm going to tell my guys to do a fighter strike on this target now. I can't blocking my carrier from helping. Actually, can it even help? No. <laughs> no, it cannot. Come on, guys. Excellent. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 
I don't know why I was so worried. <laughs> that was the weakest missile I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, look at this. The glory. The power. I love my little squad there. It's pretty awesome. How about that? Okay, we're going to push up. The enemy has one unit left over there. Oh, she fight strike it. Fight strike it. Our guys should have stopped defending these when the enemy moves away from them. So we'll move up, we'll kill the rest of their fleet, and this is a good victory for us. Though I've got to be honest, because the enemy didn't have anything bigger than a destroyer, it was a pretty easy one to handle. But we have weakened their presence here, so. Look at the graveyard of the ships we created, everybody. It's, it's a massacre. Did we even lose any ships? I don't think we did. I think we did a great job. Oh. Where are they going? Oh. <laughs> Just blew up. Don't worry about it. Victory. Good job, everybody. Good job. Uh, let's send our little ships to just harass them. Done. Complete victory, everybody. Every single one of them has been destroyed by us which is pretty cool now um let's just see let's just see we'll take all we've got loads of space we can do stuff with i didn't level up unfortunately which is a bit, a bit of a shame but it is what it is um this relay is still mine <laughs> screw your enemy it's still my relay you haven't got it it's still mine i'm gonna go back over here and we're gonna see if we could raid again i don't think we can though. i think there's like some kind of like all down <gasps> I can just do it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's... Okay, we'll do it again. We're, we're still the rest of these beta cores. <laughs> Excellent. This is brilliant. Did I see that there was a fleet by... That's a... That's not a fleet, is it? That's a... A graveyard. The graveyard of dead ships. Which we beautifully created. Uh, should we just salvage it while we're here? No. Take it. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. So, I was only gone for like three days and it let me raid again. Let's just let's try again now. <laughs> we will raid them all. They can't stop us. Okay, what else should we raid while we're here? This apparently, I don't know why, this is apparently a lot of money raiding here. So, we're just going to do a full raid on this ore. We just messed them up, I guess. We are losing Marines doing this, but like hardly. Had wow, that's why it is worth so much money. Um, of course, I can't take most of that with me, so I'm just going to have to just float around. Imagine raiding, like, an enemy and be like, Ah, oh, we've won everybody. What about the loot? Just drop it. <laughs> just wanted to hurt them. <laughs> we just wanted to inflict pain on our enemies. That was it. So we're going to go down to this little base down here. We're going to sell the goods we just raided. Um, not the beat, uh, not the cause, though. It's actually, no. Actually, wait a minute. I already have maximum relations, right, with my faction. Let's improve relations with the Imperium by just giving them a bunch of AI cores because they pay for them. <laughs> it's totally fine. Because um, if I... I like their ships, so we may accidentally buy one at some point. And I, I, and I also might accidentally use it as well. Because uh, if you can't tell my playstyle, I like to play like big, like... Um, a lot of ships that are very good individually that all have a very, very high quality Navy. I don't like having like missile spammer or like uh, loads of death ships. I like having very, very um, independent units. Now, this faction is my, up my street because they have very, very good units. Are they not letting me trade? Oh, then you don't get anything then. You guys could have had that. Wait, can I just give away my... Uh, let's see if we can talk to their comms officer. Hi. Two hundred bounty value. <gasps> that is oh. Do you know what? We can get AI calls from other eight units. Six hundred k, and loads of reputation. <laughs> Hype. Uh, also, apparently, I can help with their rebellion problem. Credit value. Oh no, I don't know how this works. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't know. What, can I...
Oh, wrong one. Can I trade here now? I can. Okay, so we're going to recreate this prisoner as well. So I wonder if I improve my relations, would that mean that my alliance may make ally of the Imperium? And then we can have an excuse to use their ships. It sounds like a good idea to me anyway. Okay, done. Let's sell the ore. We are rich, everybody. Um, oh, <laughs> no, we can't. No, 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 no. We're buying my faction ships for now, at least. We're going to get... <laughs> I gotta be careful here, everybody. <laughs> we just become the Imperium mid-series. Mid like, I'm changing control. Yeah, because actually, the Imperium is the one I normally play on my own time. Um, I just played this faction because I like the mechs as well. I, I think it's a cool idea. Then a faction... Oh, wait, we can grab, grab the rest of this. It's like running to ice. Oh, whatever, he's out of there. We gotta keep an eye on that guy because he might mess us up. Hi. <laughs> Launch a raid. Um. There are blueprints here. Oh, we haven't got enough raid points. Oh, shame. It's a shame. Shame, everybody. Let's just raid all these orbital works. Oh, let's not do anything that might hurt my men. Oh, this place has better defenses because it's it's telling me that the raid is going to be... Yeah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. I don't want to lose my supermarines. Okay, let's get out of here. I went pretty well. Uh, let's head back to our colony. And I'm pretty sure we should be able... What about this? I'm pretty sure we should be able to buy ourselves, if not a dreadnought, at least a battle carrier. Um, which I'm hyped for, everybody. And then we can use that to start pressuring our enemies into complete destruction. Oh. Why are you doing that to me, man? What have I done to you? I feel like I'm going really slow, but I'm not. It's just... <laughs> okay. Oh, let's not go to that. Oh, never mind. I went to it anyway. Okay, so we've got to go to our homeworld, which is the glorious system of... Nope, that's not it. It's this place. The jungle planet. We are, of course, the jungle people. Like the Super Saiyans were. That's what I'm going to attribute it to. We lived on a jungle jungly planet. Okay, so... Please, RNG Jesus, allow me to buy the big chip. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's not here. It's not here. Sadness, everybody. Sadness. It's fine. We're going to go for this then. The Maelstrom. The Maelstrom Battle Cruiser. And it will be my new flagship. Oh. Oh. It's so beautiful, everybody. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's equip some basic stuff first. We definitely know we need to equip a bunch of point defense on it. Uh, it's got a large hybrid slot. Let's get a giant shield suppressor. Uh, actually. 650 range, 600 range. I don't think it will be better. Would it be better to have a bunch of small anti shield that can shoot different targets? So, wait, where's damage? Damage per second, 325. Damage per second. Um. 800 range, 600 range. I think we'd be better off. If we go anti-armor with the big guy here, it's got a massive, it's got, oh, that's got really good range as well, though. Hmm. So I'm trying to figure out what the, the best way around would actually be here. So let's, let's do this. It's got the biggest range. We do short suppression on the big gun. We have three anti-armors, which can just pull up all the enemies in front of me. Uh, the back... Ah, what do we do at the back? A point defense system? Yeah, let's go for a point defense system. We'll save some, um, we'll save some, we'll get a cheaper one because it'd be pretty useful. Okay, so, missiles. It already has a micro missile array. How many are in here? Wow, how many? Damn, that's a lot of missiles, everybody. I feel like we probably want to get like a nice generalized missile that can always work. So, I, it's not here. We'll probably get salamanders. So, we'll leave that alone for now. Because I imagine if we got those our normal missiles, 
And we've got salamanders. We can apply pressure from the back of their unit and also from the front of missiles at the same time. So I think it's pretty effective. Uh, as for this, I'm going to grab the Raven Heavy Troopers. Oh, there are snipers though. What is the range of a sniper? Uh, 900 range. Because so I'm going to be using this personally. I kind of want to have a nice fighter that's always alive. So it doesn't go off and attack things. It kind of just supports me as we go towards and kill targets. Um, so what's the range of these? 625, 650. Not great to be honest. But a sniper would outrange most enemies. Let's go for two snipers. Because I, I want to try them anyway. Let's be honest here. <laughs> I really want to try out the snipers. Yeah, let's go for two of these. Uh, I will be in direct command. We also need to build some stuff in. So I'm going to definitely build a dedicated target to core because that'd be very handy for us. Secondary. I'm not sure what to get. I feel like this ship needs better shielding. Uh, I have used it before, by the way, I just, from memory here. Let's just quickly go and test it against somebody. Um, if you just go and test it against a... Actually, I'll tell you what. Before I do this, let me actually finish the ship build first. we still got loads of stuff left over. Interesting. Is there anything that increases my range, maybe? Integrating point defense might be a good idea. Accelerated shields. I want... I'm missing some very important modules that increase the size of the shields. I think that'd be a very, very useful thing to have. Um, this could also be... Incre oh, ECCM package might be a good shout. This allow I'm not going to build it in. I'm just going to use it. But this allows... I actually used it on another build we had at the other day. I think it was on the Haze we were using it on. It allows the missiles to move faster. They're more maneuverable. Um, enemy weapon range reduces superior enemy warfare. It's, it's pretty handy for our missile heavy ship here. Let's give this a shot. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to use this... Against a... Actually, what we should probably do. Give me a second, everybody. There you go. I'm going to use this ship against a equivalent ship. So how much does it cost to use? It costs 45. Well, first, let's, let's test it against a smaller ship. Um, I want to fight against one of the ones we're currently at war with. Okay, we'll test it against this Dominator. I know it's not really equivalent to my ship, but it's a, it's a quick sight and test. I don't work as I thought it would. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so I'm noticing that these snipers aren't really engaging. What if I tell them to engage? Are they going to move into combat range? They don't seem to be doing anything. Curious. Maybe this was not the best idea having these snipers. Regardless of that, though, yeah, the they're not doing anything. This is not a great thing to have, unfortunately. Well, that's why we test things, everybody. This is why we test things, because now we know. <laughs> now we know they're a bit dead. The wife of flux. It's back a little bit. We have like a, it's not like a, it's not like the flicker drive. It's kind of like a massive moving forward quickly thing. Oh, I'm really upset about because if you look at the bottom left, they are on engaged mode. They just, the snipers just aren't working for us. Uh, it's a big shame. That was a very easy battle. Okay, so what else can we get? Uh, Grenadier. I want something with good range. So this guy... Or Heavy Trooper. Should we just go for the Heavy Trooper? We know the Heavy Trooper is pretty good. We've been using the pretty much the entire time. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Oh, I'm so upset about that, though. I thought that would be a lot better. It was a bit of a letdown there. Okay, so we're going to go for the next... Actually, I'm going to change this back because I didn't realise it was going to work that way. I didn't realise it was going to reset it, unfortunately. So I want to be able to see the range of probably my biggest weapon so we can know when we're actually in combat range. So we'll go for that. Okay, so this time we're going to go against a equivalent ship. 
So we're going to go against this Dominus battle carrier. I don't think the idea here is going to be to actually kill it. It's, the idea is going to be to see if we can actually hold it off. Or at least be equivalent to it. Okay, so this is what I was on about before. As you can tell, the shields are a bit of a flaw here because we don't have a big one. The shield's also a frontal shield, so like it doesn't move my mouse, it just stays where it is. This is why I would love bombers. I think a bomber would be a good fit for this uh, carrier build. Let's pick up. What is it doing? <laughs> <I don't laughs> that looked pretty cool. Whatever that was. So this actually allowed me to back out of combat, flux, and then move back into combat before the AI could even react, which is a pretty good boon for us, really. I would say it's going to be a long battle, but I think I would eventually win this. Because I got a lot of... We are winning this. Keep going in, keep going. I got back up there. It doesn't seem to want to flux this enemy ship for some reason. It might be due to its AI not being driven by an officer. Well, we're not going to carry on with that. I've clearly won that battle. I've not taken any damage and I'm winning. So <laughs> this is a good ship. I like it. Also, got to bear in mind as well, this ship will get better uh, if I fly in actual combat because we currently have no combat readiness. If I use it myself, it will go up to 100%. So we will get a 10% speed maneuverability, 10% damage taken and damage dealt, and also better accuracy of our guns. So pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so I think we'll leave it at that for now then. Oh, I'm happy with this. I'm actually happy with this. It looks pretty good from where I'm coming from. Um, ooh. How much do I need to actually equip this properly? Not equip, sorry, not equip it. Uh, run it. I need more marines. Let's get uh, quite a lot. So we have a lot of spare. Let's get 2,000 extra. Also, I want to get 1,000 marines. The bigger raids. <laughs> More and bigger raids. Uh, we're also going to need a lot of resources. I, I know I'm swinging my money here, but it's going to be for the future, everybody. Done. I keep us going for a while. Excellent. The new battleship has been unleashed upon the world. What, will we, what, what, what should we call this? Let me know in the comments, guys. What should we call this ship? Uh, right now it's called the nest bit, which is not really invoking fear in the hearts of my enemies, so it needs to be improved. Uh, anyway, so I've got that. I think we're going to go forward and we're going to try and take on that base we were messing with earlier. So Not the first one. <laughs> not the minefield one. No, 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 no. We're going to go and mess with the, the civilian station. What's this? No. I don't want that. Okay. So I do know for a fact as well, though, by the way, that um, that station is extremely powerful. So we're probably going to need to be a bit, um, not cheaty, we're going to have to be a bit player-centric around it. Because the AI kind of has a bit of a suicidal tendency, so we want to probably try and keep range until I can get close and actually start messing with it myself. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Let's do this. Okay, it's going to be awesome. They got a defense fleet. I probably want to deal with that first. Wait, who took... The Imperium took over! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I just screwed those guys over. Okay, they got a lot of defense fleets there. If I can get all three of them to look at me, maybe they're attacking again. Is it, are they all pickets? No, there's one's a mining fleet. Well, that was easy. <laughs> we just went into this one. They didn't even try and escape. Oh, I got both of them as well. That was beautiful, everybody. Beautiful. Okay, they're pretty much been wiped out now. Let's go for the actual kill, shall we? 
<laughs> We've lost the battleship, sir. How? We crashed into an asteroid. It's over. Before I do this, can I just have a look at the raid again? Pretty tempted to do that, but we're not going to do that. Okay, let's go in. Oh, can we disrupt a... No, we can't. Enter battle. Now, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to deploy with my big ships. Because I know... I fought this before. I didn't put it in the video. I fought this base before. It will kill the haze in, like, one shot. So, the only ships I think that are actually my navy that might survive is me and this balance command carrier. So, it's not a big selection, but it's going to be what we have. Uh, the AI should be smart enough to actually follow me into combat quite closely because I'm the big, big cheese here. So, let's move up. So, the issue is not really... It's these. It's a large weapon mount. It's a... What is it called again? Oh, I can just look at it, can't I? What am I on about? It's a plasma cannon. These will absolutely murder me. So, we kind of need to go right, and we need to engage the enemy station. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> My fighters are dead, everybody. I feel like if we find a bomber for our faction, we have seen them before. We should just switch them out of that, because I think bombers will be more useful. So, we're going to go around to the right, and then once... No, 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 no. Let's keep it careful here. Let's be careful. I'm going to engage and move in towards the hangar bay. They got their own bombers as well, which is a bit terrifying. Yeah, start moving in now. I think by the time I get close... Oh, no. This is what I was worried. This is what killed my haze. That's not that bad, actually. You can see how powerful it is, though. It's absolutely wrecking my flux. going now. It's still shooting me, but I think we'll be okay. As soon as it goes past the plasma can, it's fine. We'll give a good read. I don't think this station has enough damage to actually... That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Yeah, I don't think the hangar bay actually has enough damage to actually knock down my shields while uh, venting, so it's fine. Uh, easy. 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 Yes. <laughs> now, what we need to do now, because this shield's probably... It's, it's a very different station. The station, there's three types. You've got low tier, which is the one we were fighting earlier. You got medium tier, which is kind of like big ballistic guns, and high tier, which is this one. Now, the high tier actually doesn't have shields on its modules. It has shields in these little silver modules that spin around. So we need to actually try and get inside its defenses and actually wipe out the these things. And then we can kill the others easily. So I'm going to tell my guys just to aim at this. They're going to just shoot this tusk of the hangout section. And eventually, it will be destroyed and move out of the way, and I can actually get to the core bit. Where'd he come from? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the point of I love this game. <laughs> this game is so cool. There you go. We're in, we're in. Okay, uh, oh, we blew up one of the sections! Okay, now we go for the other one, and then this thing will be defenseless. Apart from this giant sections in the way, which is a giant pain in the ass. Oh, our point defense is brilliant, everybody. Absolutely brilliant. Out the way! Let me through! On, finish it off, and then this thing will be defenseless. No, you're you're in danger. You are in danger. That's bad. That's really really bad. You need you're gonna need to back up. You need to back the hell up.
Is he okay? He's okay. We're we'll disable that command. He should go back to following me without being stupid. I think telling me him to do a fighter strike on that. Even on that fucks it. Doing a fighter strike on that random enemy was kind of messed up his AI a little bit there because normally he was following me. So this is good. We're taking this guy down. You can see how powerful these large weapons were though because they are way too strong for us really. Station combat, I think, is either you got it set, you're going to lose a lot of ships, or you have to just use big ships. Done. Okay, so there's one more enemy unit. Let's go around a little bit. And this station will be mine! Why are we not firing, by the way? There you go. <laughs> Get rid of the stupid old strut so it's not in the way. Very nice. Hear that? And victory! That was a big bang, everybody. Boom! There you go, everybody. There you go. Now, I'm going to just quickly finish off the invasion, and then we have won this. That is a mad weapon. It is a very, very good weapon. We're not going to use it, though, because it's not of my faction. <laughs> we will now invade the few. Yes. And luckily for me, I got myself an additional few hundred dudes to join the attacks. So this is going to be a glorious situation. Uh, let's, if we can, merge with a different company. Oh, there's max size limit. Sorry, don't, never mind then. Okay, deploy, deploy the navy. Yes. Um. Oh, they have no chance. <laughs> I was just, I was like, how strong are they? They got no chance. They are doomed, everybody. A literal doom. They're literally. They're, they're, it's no. It's, it's over. It's over for them. They can't come back from this. I will deploy them all because I'm crazy. Uh, actually, have I deployed them all? Yes, we have. Uh, feel free to move when you want, though. Every single location we have the advantage. It is over. This base will be mine. Let's do a quick save. Stay back. First day. 22 Marines lost. Um, <laughs> it's going pretty well. It should be over in the second day. Done! Invasions and prove of pirates. Interesting. Um, we have captured another market, of course, which is absolutely beautiful for us. We have more power than ever before. Um, I will be looking into this. Let's see. Uh, can we get myself the storage? I'll take them all. We got some okay experience. We got some okay experience there. As I keep hiring new marines, we will dilute the experience pool, so we've got to keep that in mind as well. Uh, let's just sell back all the stuff we don't need. Pretty good profit. Oh, that's a pretty good amount of money, everybody, we just made there. Uh, let's sell this as well. So I think our next step in our goal is going to be to get an extra 200k, and we can start building a heavy inventory on our little colony. This one, should I see if I could buy this as well? I would be interested. Uh, was it some um, recent unrest, rebellion, moderate ore deposits? We'll leave it. If I'm going to buy another planet, it'd probably be an actual planet server by one of these guys. But yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, everybody. Um, we now have a little entrance over here. Is there a way? I wish it was like a faction thing, but it's, it's not really designed for it, is it? Okay, let's just go and check my colony quickly before we end up this video. So my colony is level 4 still. Its stability has gone down quite a bit because it's a free port, but we've got a lot of growth rate, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, 13 days left. And we still need to get a little bit more money to get the heavy industry going. But after that, we should be making some pretty good bank. Okay, well, I hope that everyone has enjoyed this episode. I do not think we can take on the military base over there. I think it's too powerful for us. It's, a, it's, a, it's the higher tier of station i think uh but if we get after we get orbit heavy orbitals we try and get ourselves either a dreadnought or additional 
battle carriers, and we can push out from there. So, as I mentioned, bye everybody. <laughs> Have a good day.